All right, we have new developments tonight in another officer-involved shooting. A family demanding answers after a four-year-old boy was killed. According to Macomb Police, officers were called to the scene of a domestic disturbance that was active. This happened in March. When they arrived, they found Anthony George with a knife. Police say George grabbed the four-year-old and held a knife to his throat. The incident then ended in an officer firing a single shot, hitting both George and the little boy, Tyrell Miller. One friend of Tyrell's family says after it, the time to hold everyone involved accountable. Whatever that looks like, whether it's more training, more education, uh, being able to de-escalate situations where people don't lose their lives innocently. It's, it's too many people and people of color especially that this is happening to and I, I just feel like there needs to be action in getting the police what they need to make sure it doesn't happen as well. And tonight we're getting a first look at that body camera footage. We do need to warn you the video is disturbing and you might want to turn away. You, know, you can see in the video officers identified as Lieutenant Nick Gock and Officer Corey Cameron arrive on the scene. You can hear a woman screaming inside the apartment saying she is being stabbed. At one point you see the suspect grab Tyrell Miller holding knives to his stomach and throat. An officer fires a single shot killing them. George was Tyrell's mother's ex-boyfriend. Tyrell's mother and her attorney say the officer acted too quickly in firing the shot. Illinois State Police say the officer did not use excessive force. Now for an update. A community is demanding answers after an officer-involved shooting led to the death of a four-year-old boy. Back on March 16th, Macomb police were called to a domestic situation. When they arrived, the suspect had two knives. They fired a single shot which killed a four-year-old child and the suspect. The state police investigation is now complete. KHQA's Mackenzie Laporte was at the press conference this afternoon and shares comments from Miller's family and the Macomb Police Department. Now this is heartbreaking to watch. Again, a warning. This is a graphic body camera footage from the scene and some viewers may want to turn away now. As Macomb Police Lieutenant Nick Gotch and Officer Corey Cameron arrived on the scene, they were directed upstairs by a concerned neighbor. You can hear a woman screaming inside of the apartment saying she's being stabbed. Officers then kick down the door. You can see the suspect at the end of the hall and the injured woman, Kiana Miller, screaming near the doorway. She's immediately taken out of the apartment at that moment. You can hear four-year-old Terrell Miller screaming. The suspect grabs the child, carrying him into the hallway holding a knife to his stomach and one to his throat. One of the officers fires a single shot, killing both four-year-old Terrell and the suspect, 57-year-old Anthony George. Both died at the scene. Kiana Miller, Terrell's mother, alongside family and supporters, shared Monday they believe the police officer who fired the shot acted recklessly. Here to show that we don't support that decision, uh, that we believe that the police officer acted recklessly, and that uh, he should have some type of criminal charge. This isn't the end. We're going to get our justice. I don't care how long it takes. We're going to get our justice. If I have to go all the way to the Supreme Court, look, I'm going. After the protest, KHQA went to the front office of the Macomb Police Department for a comment, but were asked to contact Chief Jeff Hamer. Over an hour later, the Macomb Police Department shared in part, quote, while the decision to release this footage is supported by our commitment to transparency, our hearts and thoughts remain with the families affected by this tragedy. We will provide further updates at regular intervals until internal investigation is complete. And that was Mackenzie Laporte reporting. The McDonough County State's Attorney shared there was no basis for a criminal action or prosecution against any of the officers involved. Miller's attorney, Marlene Suarez, plans to file a civil lawsuit and is requesting authorities review the case again. Now, friends and family of Terrell Miller lined in up in Macomb to voice their concerns. They want the police department to know that they believe at least one of the officers should be held accountable for the child's death and want the department to learn from their mistakes. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.